Now at 5 o'clock, House lawmakers pressing toward an historic vote to impeach President Trump. We're following the latest after a day of dramatic, emotional debate. A man described as one of the most notorious drug dealers in Indianapolis history sentenced on federal charges today. Why prosecutors call Richard Grundy the third sentence a huge win for the criminal justice system. I'm David Williams. Indiana's largest teachers union breaks down the priorities for the 2020 legislative session. I'll explain coming up. And we wait for an organ transplant ends in tragedy for one local family. Their message now as they deal with the loss of their young son. News 8 at 5 starts now. Well, thanks so much for joining us this evening. We begin tonight on Capitol Hill, where House lawmakers are slowly moving toward an important vote in the ongoing impeachment investigation against President Trump. The House Judiciary Committee currently debating two articles of impeachment right now. Democrats say the president violated his oath of office. Republicans say he's committed no crime. Soon, lawmakers will vote to send the charges against the president to the full House. Karen Kafer reports on the latest developments from Washington. The House